We have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Tammy. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. No me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, that's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. So Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit. But if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny.